Coming up on Around Kern County, it's time to be grounded in nutrition. We're sharing what public health and Kern BHRS are doing to promote eating well this month. And Kern County has seen historic levels of rain and snow. A look at our recent winter weather when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. March is Social Work Appreciation Month. Supervisors proclaimed this during their recent board meeting, with this year's theme being Social Work Breaks Barriers. This awareness campaign spans the nation in honor of the more than 700,000 social workers who make a difference in communities across our country. Uh, this theme resonates every day with what social workers do because they get families, children, and individuals through hard times. That's, that's their core mission. Uh, like I said, there's well over 500 social workers in our county family all doing this daily, pouring their heart and soul into their jobs making sure that these individuals, children, and families are safe. Right now, Kern County is hiring social workers, and you can apply to serve our residents by visiting our website, kerncounty.com. You can also learn more about this meaningful campaign and follow along by checking out Kern County Human Services on social media or visiting their website at kcdhs.org. March is the month of nutrition as part of Public Health's and Kern BHRS's Grounded in Health campaign. This year's long initiative is designed to help our residents find the balance and importance in taking care of both their physical and mental health. Each month has a new focus geared towards helping our mind and bodies feel their best. Eating a balanced and nutritious diet is essential to our physical and our mental health. It really helps us be more alert, more awake. It actually lengthens our life um, and just leads to a better overall quality of life. Well, what we eat fuels our body, but it's also fueling our minds. So what we eat, how we eat, um, is incredibly important to how we feel, and how we feel affects how we're thinking and seeing and operating in the world. Also, having a balanced diet helps you to reduce your risk of cancer to up to 50%, which, I mean, who wouldn't want to lower the risk of developing cancer or chronic disease? So that's why we think it's so important for our community to eat a nutritious diet because it has so many long-term added health benefits. Food is actually one of the most universal ways that we comfort ourselves when we are feeling stressed or when we're feeling sad or when we're feeling bored. So making sure that we're eating well, we're getting nutrients and we're eating in a way that is adding to our overall wellness um, is going to enhance kind of how we feel physically and how we feel mentally. This year's Grounded in Health campaign is designed with a symbol of a tree with each root, trunk, and branch offering a tip to keep our community feeling healthy. And each month, we'll be sitting down with Public Health and Kern BHRS to follow along with Grounded in Health, access important resources, and stay up to date. Please visit kerngroundedinhealth.com. The Kern County Elections Division is celebrating the completion of their vote by mail room renovations. Now, there's more space to process mail-in ballots and provide a better view for observers. Elections also has added in some new equipment, which will decrease ballot processing times. Kern County Elections says all of these renovations are an effort to maximize efficiency and better serve our Kern County voters. For more information about our elections office, you can visit kernvote.com. We're sharing some personal good news. Around Kern County has been awarded the Regional Award of Merit for Journalism by Kern Cog. This recognizes a media representative or outlet who has contributed to public understanding for regional issues. I want to thank all of you for supporting Around Kern County by watching our show and especially thank the fantastic team who makes it all possible. Tom Turner, Gabe Pena, Tim Meyer, and Anna Marie Odo Thank you so much for all that you do. Throughout the past few weeks, Kern County has been experiencing historic winter weather. Anna Marie Odo has a look at the views and some important safety tips. 
From the snow-capped mountains in Tehachapi to the rolling hills along the grapevine, Kern County has seen nearly two feet of snow in our mountain communities and several inches of rain on our valley floor. In fact, just the city of Bakersfield alone has received 35 times more rain this year compared to all of the rain that fell in 2022. While the snow pictures and green hillsides are certainly beautiful, we want to remind our residents to stay safe during these winter storms. Please be sure to stay up to date by following the National Weather Service or downloading the Caltrans Quick Map app. You can also reach out to the Kern County Fire Department or Public Works for more information. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you right back here next week.